When we find fresh tracks, the master hound, the real expert at detecting Jaguar scent, is released. Then the rest are unleashed as backup. Jaguars are smart. They head straight for deep water or thick, thorny vegetation, and they repeatedly double back on their tracks to confuse the dogs. The Jaguar has eaten this calf, so it might be nearby, handicapped by the weight of its meal. I get my first sight of a jaguar, but the circumstances are so traumatic for the cat that I don't feel any joy. I know that it's for the good of the species, but is this the only time I'm going to see a jaguar in the wild? It's only been tranquilized, but I can't help thinking that thousands of jaguars have been cornered and shot for real, just like this. When it falls, we take comfort in the fact that no Jaguars have been injured by this team before. We must be dead quiet. Under sedation, the Jaguar can still hear and see everything that's going on. People fall silent anyway. Like me, they're amazed to be so close to such a beautiful and magnificent animal. It's a female. We discover she's heavily pregnant, but the team is confident that their modern drugs won't harm the unborn cubs. The vet thinks she's only a few days away from giving birth and tries, with no luck, to work out how many cubs there might be. Measurements and blood samples will give them information about her genes, health and age. The team name her Marcia, and she weighs in at an impressive 176 pounds. It seems a bit of a circus to us, but Leandro is trying to turn the locals into Jaguar fans by giving them a chance to see a living, breathing Jaguar in the wild. <laughs> it's the closest beer has ever been to a wild jaguar, and since 99% of the Pantanal is privately owned, the support of people like her will make all the difference to the future of jaguars. Marcy's life can now be carefully monitored, but with the thick vegetation, Leandra's team will hardly ever see her, even though they'll know exactly where she is. <laughs> 